Hi everyone, welcome back. Someone wrote in and wanted to know if I prefer doing my readings daytime or nighttime because this person heard that nighttime reading is stronger. And I'm really glad they they sent this question in because um, many people out there, especially the charlatans out there, uh, only want to do readings at night or they only want to do house clearings at night or they only want you to, like I get calls all the time and I think I've shared this with you before, they want me to go to this prison in, in Philadelphia and, and some abandoned hospital so I'll pick up spirit energy more but always at night and um, you know that's that's ridiculous it, it one is not stronger than the other I can communicate I do readings in the morning I do readings at night I do readings in person I do readings on the phone I do Skype readings you know uh, so you can see each other so it doesn't matter energy is energy uh, you're connecting with another dimension and these energies will pull in when it's their, your intention to connect with them and when their energies pull in. It doesn't matter if it's daytime or nighttime. I think um, a lot of people out there, the charlatans out there, like the nighttime because it's a little more drama. You know, you put on, uh, uh, you know, you light one candle and and uh, everything seems scarier or spookier and, and uh, you know, you, you see these things on television where they go to, and it's the music in the background. Even a movie, you'll watch a scary movie. The scary movie would be nothing without the music that they play in the background. So it's all part of their, you know, their stick, their, but it, it's all, it's all fake. It's, it's just not true. The spirit energy has the ability to pull in whenever you need them to pull in and whenever they, they feel the need to come in to bring comfort to the person. They don't, they don't hang out in buildings. There's no such thing as a haunted house. No such thing as a haunted house. God doesn't need any help getting anybody to the light. Uh, believe me, this, this God who created all of this does not need help getting one of the souls to the light that he created. So it's all nonsense. So it doesn't matter morning, nighttime. It doesn't matter. Uh, you, you can have bright lights. You can have dim lights. You can have one candle lit. None of that matters. It matters to you. Now, I always keep a candle lit because it helps raise vibration. And for me, it's funny. When I go to my center, I open my door. The first thing I do is light this light right behind my chair. And I put on a soft med meditative music and I light a candle. I acknowledge that they know I'm getting ready. They acknowledge. And, and they'll often show themselves in a, in a candle. You know, I, I'll say to people, the reading I did before, uh, earlier, uh, earlier in the day, I lit a candle and I said, now watch the candle because very often they'll respond in a flickering candle, which they do. It's just a regular candle and, um, you know, you light it. And then when spirit energy pulls in very often, the candle maybe will begin to vibrate a little bit or raise up and down. It's just spirit energy pulling in. Of course, electrical is very big because the soul is made of energy. So they can really show themselves an energy. And by that, I mean, they can flicker a light they can blow a light bulb. The, the cell phones were the best thing that ever happened to the world of spirit because they can turn them on, they can turn them off. It's just amazing how they work. You know, feathers, pennies, and dimes, check the date. But the heaviest thing they can manipulate is a penny or a dime. So, but no, it makes no difference. Morning, nighttime, afternoon, middle of the night, it doesn't matter. You know, it's your intention to connect. And, and sometimes when people are grieving, you know, the reason why they'll feel it more at night, like very often people will say, well, you know, after my father died, I was laying in bed one night and I opened my eyes and he was standing next to my bed. Or one time, you know, I was sitting, sitting at night watching a movie and, and all of a sudden out of the corner of my eyes, I saw something, you know, it's always nighttime. When the body starts to relax a little bit, that's when that left brain, you know, that's busy all the time begins to relax a little bit, quiet down a little bit. And when the left brain quiets down a little bit, that's when we're able to communicate in a stronger fashion to the world of spirit. Because again, the soul resides in the right side of the brain. So uh, what mediums, what we need to do is quiet that left brain down. We do that. I do it especially through prayer and meditation. But most credible mediums, all, all credible mediums, will meditate and, and shut that left brain down. So they become um, more clear uh, to the world of spirit by not hearing all the stuff, all the, the garbage that's on in the left brain. Okay? So um, I hope that answers your question. They doesn't matter when when you connect. No time of the day is stronger than any other time. Uh, you know, it's usually the choice of, as far as the medium goes, when their time slot is when they're available. You know, I do readings 11 in the morning, 2 in the afternoon, and 7 at night. Those are my reading times. So you can see it really doesn't matter. Okay, so I hope that answers your question. And as always, I leave you in God's love and light.